Hello, everybody. It's about that time. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks a bunch for stopping by. Today's beer comes from Kane Brewing Company. These guys are in New Jersey. This is their Outer Reef, which is an Imperial IPA. They're calling it a triple on the can, triple IPA. 10.7%, uh, that's a big boy now. Uh, this was sent to me by my brother Rico, and he writes 10.7% triple IPA dry hop with Galaxy, Citra, and Sabro. So you bought it last week at the brewery, and it was $20 for a four-pack. High dollar. Well, you got four of them, and they're 16-ounce cans, and they're five bucks a pop. So, not a, not real expensive, considering it's a 10.7 percenter. So, uh, but hopefully it's not going to be too boozy. Uh, sometimes they can hide it, sometimes they can't. So we shall see how this one uh, holds up. Uh, he said the date is on the bottom left edge of the can and it's canned on April the 10th of 2019 and the date is May the 4th of 2019. So it's not even a month old in the can so it should still be very tasty, I hope. And uh, we shall see what it brings to the table, guys. So, uh, that is all the information that he sent with it. So let's jump over to Untapped and see if they have anything additional. Uh, says a triple IPA brew with a mix of British Pale and Pilsner Malts, Oats, and a small amount of Low Crystal. We hopped it with Citra in the kettle and dry hopped it with Galaxy Citra and Sabra. So pretty close to what he said other than the malt uh, bill and oats. Uh, no IBUs are listed uh, either on Beer Advocate or uh, Untapped. And when I went to Beer Advocate to look it up for the start of the review, only one person has made a comment on this. So. Maybe it's a, uh, a new release from these guys. And they do have it listed as a brewed once beer, limited edition. So uh, maybe it was a brewery only release and maybe it's a new release on top of that. I'm not sure, I don't have that information, guys. So uh, that is all we need to talk about. So we're gonna get this big 16 ounce can, plain Jane silver can with a stick on wrap around the label. Uh, I don't know if it's a New England style or not. We're about to find out. So into the glass we go. Kind of hazy coming out, but a lot of times those hops settle. Being less than a month old, I'm not sure that would be the case, but it could. It could be. So nice and amber coming out of the can. It does look very cloudy, guys. Uh, about a finger, a finger and a half of head on that. Very cloudy. Nice and hazy. Nice amber color, not quite to the New England style looking beer. So uh, definitely looks like an unfiltered beer though. To the nose we go. Very nice upfront citrusiness. Hints of orange and grapefruit. Maybe a little bit of tropical fruit notes with some mango in there. A little bit of pine, not getting a big alcohol note on the aroma. So let's dive in. Cheers everybody, cheers Rico. You tell it's a big beer when you drink it though. There is a considerable amount of maltiness. It takes a lot of malt to brew a 10.7, almost 11 percenter. But they've done a fair job, a very decent job of uh, hiding that alcohol. Very pleasant. Fairly easy to drink for a magnitude beer like this. Pretty tasty. It is pretty tasty. They've done a, a really good job on hiding that much alcohol. So 
So we're going to swirl this around and get the back end pour, see if it changes the appearance any. It does look a little hazier or cloudier coming out the back end. Still not to that bright orange juice color, which I would, you know, which I consider when it gets to the New England style looking beer. Still a good looking beer. Uh, very cloudy, very hazy, but not that bright orange juice color, but it's an imp it's a triple what they're calling, which is not really not a recognized style. Uh, it's considered an imperial, basically, on you know, uh, uh, most sites. So that's what it's called on Beer Advocate, and uh, on Untapped they have IPA dash triple. Well, like I said, but that's not a, an official recognized style. Uh, it's like a black IPA. Uh, it's actually not been been recognized from the beer judging categories so far. So. Pretty pleasant. So let's set this uh, warm up a little bit and sip on it, and we'll come back and see where it ends up in the grape. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Just got a little bit left here. Nice slice thing is left on the glass. Alcohol seems to be fairly well hidden to me. Now, this is your first triple IPA. You might find it kind of boozy. Uh, to me, uh, they've hidden it fairly well. Uh, it's got a nice hop aroma and taste to it. I uh, don't think it's a world-class beer by any means, but I do think it's a well-made beer and it's very tasty. I would probably buy this beer if I could get it here. That's the biggest recommendation I can give to a beer. Uh, Kane does some really tasty stuff. They they really do. So uh, I would buy their beers if I could get them here. So don't think it's to the New England style, but it is a cloudy, unfiltered beer looking to me and fairly tasty. A very pleasant beer to drink for 10.7%, almost 11%. This would get you into trouble if you were drinking it somewhere other than home. Uh, so be aware of that, and if you're drinking something of this magnitude, whether it's a triple IPA or a stout or anything, just be aware of that. I mean, you can drink one of these and you can get a DUI real quick in the state of Virginia. You might think you're all right, I only had one beer, but yeah, but it was almost 11 percenter. Yep, so it doesn't take long for that alcohol to get in your bloodstream and you're going to, if you're blowing that little meter, you're going to take a ride downtown, my friend. Don't want to see that happen. Don't want to see you get hurt or anybody else. So drink responsibly, guys. That's why I do, that's why you see me here in this environment most of the time. 99.9% .9 of the time. I haven't done a, a beer review out uh, for several years now because it's just hard to do that in a setting at a brewery or, uh, where they produce these beers without having a whole lot of background noise and all that. It's just, and I just don't do it anymore. Uh, it's, it's, it's too much noise around and and then on top of that I'm out somewhere where I have to drive or somebody has to drive home so it, it, it's not feasible for me anymore being an old geezer that I am so I want to I want to be able to drink these beers and just stumble down the hallway to my bedroom and fall down <laughs> so with that being said a tasty beer guys don't think it's world-class I'm gonna give it a minus to me it does have the ABV on it and does have the Candone date on it. That's why it's getting the grade I'm giving it. 92 for me on this one, guys. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they have it at 4.5, also in their A minus range. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.09, again, also in their A minus range. It's unanimous. It's an A minus beer. Very tasty, Rico, my brother. Thanks a bunch for sending me all the wonderful beers that you do, sir. You are awesome, my friend. Uh, if you've had this beer from uh, Cane Brewing, their Outer Reef, which is a triple IPA, is what they're calling it. Uh, big beer, 10.7%. Let me know what you think, especially if you've had uh, the 2019 version. I don't know if they've done it before, but looking at the reviews, I'd say it's probably a new release. Let me know what you think if you've had it. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.